All right, today we are going to be turning a uh, another piece again. Uh, this one I've got the carbide, and I'm going to push it a little bit hard for the nine by twenty. Um, should be a decent little radius, and we'll see what happens here. Change the tool. Before I used to take that uh, all in three different separate passes, but as I'm getting used to the carbide, it seems like you can definitely take bigger cuts. And you might not be able to tell in the video, but the surface finish is much, much better than with uh, three smaller cuts. Let's see if I can get a focus on it. It's uh, a little bit more aggressive than I'm used to with high speed steel, but. the completed specimen that we just made. Surface finish is uh, much better than it has been previously with smaller depths and speeds and feeds and all. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm very pleased with it. Alright, we'll uh, watch it once more and we'll try to get a better angle over here. We'll go ahead and let it start. <laughs> Here's EMC. that we made. I just got done washing them. I used a little bit of Dawn detergent uh, kind of get some of that oil and grease off. You can see I drilled through and tapped on the inside. Uh, I didn't show that because it's kind of boring watching. But uh, yep, all three of them here. This is my parkerizing solution. Well, I'm about to throw them in here. I'm going to degrease them with a little bit of acetone and then throw them in that parkerizing solution. Let's see how it turns out. Alright, so here's the parts. We're just gonna put it down there in the uh, parkerizing solution. Turn the heat down a little bit. That's uh, pretty hot in there. And we'll set our stovetop timer here for. 10 minutes and uh, we'll be back in just about 10 minutes see how it turns out uh, we're down to four minutes on the clock here go ahead and flip them over make sure that uh, Make sure they get pretty good coating evenly all the way around. Down to about a minute and 50 seconds left and we can kind of see the finish that we're going to expect here. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, so here's the three pieces after they've been in for the full 10 minutes. 
they came out. They've got a very nice, attractive dark gray color uh, coating on them. Um, it's called the Parkerized Finish. Very easy to do at home. You can do it on the kitchen stove. Pretty easy. I just did it here. Uh, when you're done, you want to coat them with like a little bit of motor oil because the Parkerizing isn't actually a rust preventative. Uh, it is a little bit, but it does a whole lot better if you get a little bit of oil on it. So I'll do that next. I'm just going to use a little bit of Mobile One 15W50 because that's just what I had in the kitchen sink here. All right, so I put a very liberal coating of oil on them. Just kind of rub them down all over with it. It's uh, pretty thick right now. We'll let it soak in for a minute or two, wipe it off, and we'll go ahead and assemble the final piece. All right, and here's the final product. It is uh, nicely finished. Park Rising turned out pretty good, and overall it's not, uh, not a bad looking piece of work for just having taken a few minutes to make it.